All right, guys, so we're in the main dashboard of Google AdWords Editor Tool. Um, I currently have a campaign set up here, which uh, ideally I wouldn't, just so you guys could see it cleared without anything in it. But uh, for now, we'll work with this. Um, when you're in here, the first thing you'll want to do is head on over to Accounts. So click up there. Um, these are all your different accounts. Now you're going to have nothing here, so you're going to want to add your account and all you'll have to do is follow these instructions open browser and then you'll get a code here um, and I don't think you this is opening up on my other screen so let me pull this over oh, you know it's not actually pulling over so what you guys are gonna see is just a login to your gmail accounts and you choose which gmail account is linked to your adwords and then when you choose that it will give you a line of code that you come here and then you paste it in it's that simple uh, you press OK and then it will connect and link up your account so let's close this um, okay and we head back to the main screen here um, so this software may look a little um, uh, confusing at the very beginning but uh, don't worry I'm just gonna show you some of the basics here and you can learn uh, some of the additional features on your own but for now we're just setting up some campaigns and we want to use this to do the bulk of the setup because this this could take a long time uh, depending on how many keywords you have and how many ad groups uh, if you're doing it manually in the the back end of AdWords so <clears throat> this tool is usually when I come here it doesn't sync up automatically with your Google AdWords account so what you're gonna wanna do if you made any changes in your AdWords account is get basic uh, changes here and that will update all the information here um, and then at the very end when you wanna make any changes you do post and then you can do all campaigns or just a specific one depending on where your changes were made now from the last video you guys probably have a list of keywords um, not sure why that screens blank let's move this over <clears throat> so you have this list of keywords that we set up in the keyword research if you don't have this then go back to that and do this um, all we got to do is copy and then head on over to the tool <clears throat> and then go down to keywords and targeting and click the keywords row right here um, we're gonna make multiple changes don't worry if you see all this information here that's fine that's just from my other accounts um, so make multiple changes my data includes columns for col campaigns and or ad groups that means uh, we already have that in our our rows and columns so use that <coughs> unless you're pacing directly to one that already exists um, so paste from clipboard and these will probably be uh, blank or unknown so you're gonna need to change these top ones to campaign ad group and keyword and you can remember this order for future ones I always do that so as you can see our campaign is gonna be named tree services our ad groups are all here and then our keywords associated with those ad groups are here as well so let's process this and this will give you the results if you see anything skipped it just means you might have had some repeated keywords there um, if you see any errors, um, um, this is where it's going to show, and that's where you can start to diagnose what the problem is. But we look good here, so we'll finish. <clears throat> now, if we see in this left-hand panel, we got the campaign now. If we click on that campaign, it's only going to show us information from that, so we don't see the other stuff now. And right now, we're in the, the keywords column, so you can see all of our keywords down here. Now, uh, don't worry if you don't see these plus marks on some of these words. Um, if you see down here, it says phrase, so that just doesn't show. Um, but for some reason, the broad match modified does in this tool. This tool isn't always updated or up to date with um, current standards, so <clears throat> keep that in mind. This one says exact. All right, so <clears throat> once you have everything uploaded in here, the first thing that I do is head on over to campaigns row your budget is invalid so when you have a red mark that means that uh, it won't post those changes and something needs to be changed yellow just means that there is maybe a discrepancy or something that um, could be fixed but you can still run a campaign with it so we just need to put in a budget and that's what it's asking for um, 
for your budget with a call only national campaign um, it just depends on how fast you want to get your data um, I would recommend if you can afford it to go with at least fifty dollars um, USD per day <clears throat> press enter and as you can see the red mark goes away now we're going to change some of these settings so the campaign type we want a search network only um, the difference is this has display selected so that means your ads can be shown on the display network which is a bunch of other websites um, if you see on on common websites they have uh, they have display ads like on the right but we don't really want that uh, let's just stick with network um, include search partners. Um, search partners include um, random stuff like eBay and other things associated like that where if people are, are searching in a search engine on this site um, you can still show up so disable those <clears throat> because we're not sure about how effective that's going to be. Go down to bid strategy and make sure this is on manual CPC. Uh, we just start this way for now um, this gives you more control and gives you an idea of the optimization process. You don't really necessarily, you want to keep control of most of these processes and don't give it up to Google um, as much as possible because Google doesn't necessarily have your best interests in mind and it doesn't mean that, let's say you maximize conversions, you won't have enough data to begin with. This is something you could change over to eventually, but for now let's just keep it manual and keep everything manual as much as possible. Enhance CPC. So this changes your bids based off of conversions. Um, we're going to do that ourselves just because um, Google isn't quite smart enough to know exactly what we want. Um, that could be a debated um, statement there, but for now, let's just do disabled. Um, <clears throat> ad rotation. So this is the ads that are showing to people when uh, your your ads are triggered. We don't want to optimize, so like I said, keep everything manual. So do not optimize and just rotate the ads indefinitely. So they'll get the same amount of impressions, and that way we can judge uh, based off of conversions what actually is working the best um, target method this is a tricky one as well <clears throat> go down here and then it's automatically on people in or who show interest in your target locations but we don't really need people who just show interest we want people in your target locations um, quick note it's funny how Google has their defaults on things that um, are basically going to increase the amount of money you waste uh, so that gives you an idea about their intentions. So that's pretty much all that we're going to do in the Google editor in terms of campaign settings. The rest we're going to do in the back end of Google AdWords. But for now what we're going to do is jump over to our ad section here and create our ads because that's easier to do in the editor. Um, so there's a bunch of different ads that we can use down here. Um, but we want to go to the bottom and go to call only ads. Now depending on how many ad groups you have and if you're doing a SCAG method which is a single keyword ad group, um, you may just want to do a, a general ad across all your campaign. But I would suggest splitting your ads up based on your ad groups and I'll show you what that means. So ad call only ad. So these are each of our ad groups. Now if we wrote an, ab, an ad for an arborist and the same ad showed to someone looking for stump grinding <clears throat> it's not going to be very re relevant so we want to split these up right so we want to do two ads for each of these at least um, we do two just so we can split test changes and I'll show you what that looks like so we'll do an ad for an arborist <clears throat> down here you want to put in your business name this doesn't make any difference whatsoever so um, I'm just literally going to do business name uh, display URL. This you don't need the HTTP, but this is what's going to be shown to the person, even though they're not clicking through to that URL. Um, I'll just put one in for now. So, um, absurdity.com verification URL. This is is what's going to help Google <clears throat> verify that your ad is legit and abides by their policies. So this is where they're going to go to look for that information you need that um, 
your phone number obviously so just put in a random number and then United States right and then description line one and description line two so apparently uh, call only ads now allow for more characters in here so right now this only allows for 35 as you can see it reads out at 35 <coughs> so the editor is old in that sense whereas your ads can hold up to 80 someone said that in a group that I was in I haven't actually tested that so go test it yourself but if that's the case then uh, I'll make a video on how to go about doing that but for now I'm sticking with the classic way right so description line you want to write something that catches the eye and convinces people to call because that is the the end goal so let's pretend we're doing this for an arborist so having the key word in the, the ad copy is important for your ad quality it's gonna help out your score and improve what you pay or decrease what you pay for a click so arborist uh, number one rated arborist near you something like that uh, you don't need to get too crazy about this since we're just testing <clears throat> So, but a few principles to keep in mind are that things that stick out, like number one, uh, top rated, best, um, things that address pain points in the industry. So, arborist, uh, I don't know, I don't know exactly for arborist. Maybe uh, people want someone who's who's safe or professional or licensed. So you could put that in there as well. Um, and then down low is just another description line. I usually like to get a alternative keyword so a uh, tree doctor maybe is an alternative word that may be a product but this is just for example call us today right so we got a call to action on the very end here um, I just do that to uh, encourage people to actually call this button or click this and call um, just as a note you can't put click in your in your words here I tried doing that or click or push or or anything like that but you can encourage them to call right so that's one we got one of those down and basically what I do is I copy this and then I paste and then I do another one for the same ad group and you only want to change one variable at a time so with call only ads just change either the top or bottom description line now there's a principle in advertising that you want to test branches not sticks um, what that basically means is you want to change these up significantly like what is uh, a big change from this right here um, and as your your campaign matures and you get more data and you continue to test that's when you'll figure out okay this description line one is working good this description line two is working good how can I change this a little bit and then the next thing you can do is just start changing like little words here that's those would be the sticks but to start out you wanna you wanna test branches not sticks um, so yeah just continue that across all your ad groups until you got all of them done and let's see I think that's pretty much oh nope the next step is this we gotta jump over to our ad groups and what we want to do is set a bid for these um, you could do a bid that's the same all the way across all of these by just going uh, like this or you could do them uh, individually and the way that I go about doing individual bids is I go I'll s jump on over here and let's take one of these for example this is my uh, my reminder app to take a breath <laughs> um, <clears throat> tree removal so let's take all these keywords in a given uh, ad group here tree services and we're gonna determine what we want to bid for this so let's just log into Google AdWords okay so once you're back here just head on over to the wrench tool again and then go to keyword planner then this time go down here and we're gonna paste in those keywords for that one ad group and we'll get started 
this should be able to give you a, a little bit of an estimate of what you should be bidding. So what I like to do here is usually I'll jump over here and it will give me a graph but it doesn't look like there's enough data to produce that graph and then I'll take a bid that's like almost at the top of where the graph starts leveling out so I can get the the most optimized bid immediately but instead let's go to historical metrics and this will show you over time um, top of the page bids for these <clears throat> it doesn't show for all of these but uh, it will give you a sense so tree removal near me tree removal service um, just make sure that your locations are right because your CPC will change based off of that um, just look quickly here we got top of page bid low range and then the high range so I would say start around the low range here and kind of just get a sense just uh, average these out so I think a good starting uh, starting point for us would be around six dollars um, so if we just go over here and change tree services that was our ad group to six dollars uh, we're good there so I just continue that process for all the other ad groups and set the bids that way and I set them at a uh, ad group level rather than a keyword level at least at this point just because it's gonna save you a lot of time and that's it for the Google editor tool um, but what we want to do real quick here is post changes and it's for a selected campaign right now which is selected um, let's post these and it will show you exactly what's being posted if you get any red marks it just means that there was an error in that but we look to be good here uh, right now the locations are wrong and then we don't have negative keywords set up but we'll handle that once we're in the back end but let's just check to make sure that these changes occurred yep so I just refresh this page to get this to show up but as you can see tree services right here we're gonna go right away and pause this um, just because I don't want that running nationally on this clients campaign um, but next video I think I'm gonna save it for then we're going to change some of the back-end settings for this campaign um, and get everything set up and ready to run and after that you can just let data run and then you'll start the optimization process which to me is the most interesting um, so I'll see you guys in the next video make sure to check out the description section below which has links to our lead generation uh, Facebook group and also uh, there's a link to a couple freebies uh, for you that go along with all this information so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want more lead generation based videos, online marketing, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.